Hey, what's up, Harry? Oh, fuck. One sec. Okay, we're back. I set up the wallpaper correctly. Fuck, there's a black... One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Okay, I fixed the black spot. All right. So today, everybody, we're reacting to a Microraptor and a very bird-like dinosaur. Uh, before we start, I just want y'all to let me know what y'all think about the new way I'm doing the videos, you know, small me over here, here, video up here, some kind of... Oh yeah, let's, let's get to Five million years ago, in a temperate forest that stretched across northeast China, a small... 125 million years ago, in a temperate forest that stretched across northeast China, a small mammal clings onto a tree trunk beneath the canopy. But despite it towering above the forest floor, it was not safe from predators, as the dinosaurs in this forest were not landbound either. This mammal was still in danger of being pulled from its tree from any direction, by the crow-sized dinosaur, Microraptor. It's a weird looking dinosaur. In the late Jurassic, one lineage of feathery theropod dinosaurs would eventually branch off and develop flight, becoming the world's first birds, with Archaeopteryx usually being stated as the first known bird. By the early Cretaceous, however, birds had evolved and flourished into many forms, but just because birds had evolved, did not mean that bird-like dinosaurs that gave rise to birds had died out yet. Because birds had only recently evolved, and the bird-like dinosaurs had not gone extinct yet, these two groups of animals would have been very difficult to distinguish, and this was very well demonstrated in this Chinese forest, because there were birds like the Enantiornithines that looked like normal little birds from a distance, but had no beak, and still possessed teeth and little claws on their wings, and Microraptor that was a dinosaur but had many bird-like features, like a black plumage that coated its body from its needle like It looks so weird though, look at it. its legs are like arms, and its arms are like wing... It's such a weird... creature. ...teeth to its long dinosaur tail. It is thought the Microraptor would have glistened in the sunlight because their fossilized feathers had a cell structure that was similar to modern day birds that have iridescent feathers so it is thought that these little dinosaurs were also iridescent. These shiny feathers may have been to attract a mate, along with their long tail feathers. But they did not just have display feathers, Microraptor also had pinaceous flight feathers along their wings, that were similar to what you would find on a flying bird. Even if these wings were folded up very tightly, they would have made it very hard for the creature to walk along the ground, and it was probably only capable of awkwardly scurrying when it was grounded, and almost certainly wasn't capable of hunting while on the forest floor. Because of its wings and that it would struggle to move across the ground, it has long been suspected that it was capable of gliding. Oh. Microraptor's gliding style would have been very unusual compared with any living animal, as it wore smaller wings on its hind legs as well as its front arms, which is not seen in any living birds. However, it is known that Microraptor's pelvis allowed it to lift its hind legs at a high vertical angle, so it is thought that in order to glide, it splayed its legs horizontally to form a shape that looked like a man skydiving. Some paleontologists think that these two sets of wings would have been held at different levels, so the way they flew was similar to that of a two-winged biplane. It is believed that due to being awkward on the ground, Microraptor lived in the trees and then launched itself from a perch, gliding around in search for food, and then landed on other trees, very rarely touching the forest floor, safe from larger predators. It lived almost like a predatory version yeah, of the flying cute squirrel. Rat. Microraptors were very common in China at this point in history, and in fact are actually one of the most well-known dinosaurs, with almost 300 fossilized specimens. Wow. And it is known that Microraptors were predators because several of these specimens have their stomach contents preserved. One fossil had a very Wait. small Cretaceous mammal in its stomach. How does that happen? How do you have your stomach? That looked like Eomaea, that had a curved foot that would have made it good at climbing trees, and another Microraptor stomach contained a small lizard that was thought to be a prehistoric relative of geckos, also tree climbers. So the sort of prey that they consumed is what you would expect for a forest-dwelling glider. Microraptor was not alone gliding around northeast China at this time, as there were many other species of gliding dinosaur, as Microraptor was just one member of a raptor or dromaeosaurid family that evolved to become very bird-like at this time, known as Microraptoria. 
There was Changayo Raptor that was also a four-winged glider, like Micro Raptor, but twice the size, being around 1.2 meters in length. Big boy. And Sinornithosaurus that was the strangest of them all. Sinornithosaurus had a set of unusually large fang-like teeth in the center of their jaw that had grooves running down their surface towards the bottom of the tooth, which is a feature only seen in venomous animals. So amazingly, Sinornithosaurus oh. may have been a venomous dinosaur. And its strange teeth did not stop there because it also had some small teeth at the front of its mouth that pushed forward, and it is thought to have been used to rip the feathers off its bird prey. So Sinornithosaurus may have been a specialized bird hunter, plucking birds from the sky like the modern day Caracal. And it may have even occasionally eaten small feathery dinosaurs like a Microraptor. So there were many gliding dinosaurs in this ancient Chinese forest. But many scientists think that Microraptor wasn't just a glider and was actually capable of powered flight. Modern birds have a highly evolved sternum that anchors their big and powerful flight muscles to their wings, and although Microraptor's sternum was not anywhere near as advanced as modern birds, it was more robust than other dinosaurs, showing that it may have supported some primitive flight muscles. Plus, there were similarities with birds in their shoulder bones as well, showing that they may have been able to fly. However, if it did fly, it was probably quite a clumsy flyer, that was not capable of any of the acrobatics that modern birds are capable of. Acrobatics. Many of the prey items that have been found inside Microraptor's stomachs were small forest dwellers and tree climbers, which were not outside of what you would expect for a gliding animal that lived in the trees. However, some other things this dinosaur ate do not fit in with this view of the animal. One specimen of this dinosaur was found with fish scales in its stomach, which shows that they didn't exclusively hunt in the trees and it seems unlikely that they would have been able to catch a fish while gliding. It could have caught the fish while standing at the edge of a river or lake, but the species that had eaten the fish actually seemed to have evolved to be a fish eater, it had teeth that curved backwards, which is commonly seen in piscivorous animals, so it may have been able to catch the fish out of the water while flying. And another Microraptor was even found with bird wings in their stomach, and although not impossible, would have also been difficult to catch if they were not capable of flying. Some researchers think that Microraptor, as well as other possible gliders like Sinornithosaurus, are the most primitive dromaeosaurids, or raptors, and that the earliest dromaeosaurids were small gliding tree dwellers, and then large dromaeosaurids like Velociraptor descended from these gliding ancestors, and then evolved back into being more like other dinosaurs. Some paleontologists have taken this a step further, and argued that dromaeosaurids weren't just very closely related to birds, but might just be birds. Some scientists from the camp that think that Microraptor was a flying animal, and not just a glider, have argued that it was more like a bird than Archaeopteryx, the animal that is usually referred to as the earliest known bird. So Microraptor and all of its dromaeosaurid family members might have actually been birds, just a very primitive group of them that branched off very early on in the evolution of birds and large ones like Dakotoraptor or Denonychus just evolved back into being flightless, like ostriches or emus. However, yeah. this theory is very controversial, but the broader idea that all Dromaeosaurids descended from gliding sea-dwelling ancestors and then evolved back into being more like other dinosaurs is actually quite well supported, and hotly debated. For instance, in 2007, a smaller raptor known as Mahakala was discovered from Mongolia that challenges the idea. <laughs> Does it kind of look like an angry chicken? Idea of raptors descending from gliding ancestors. The closest dinosaur family relatives to dromaeosaurids are the Truodontids, that are also slender and bird-like. And Mahakala is a dromaeosaurid that shares many features with Truodontids, that it most likely held on to ever since these two families separated. So it may be more primitive than the gliding variety of raptor. Mahakala did not have any big wings and is not thought to have been able to glide. So if Mahakala was what the earliest raptors looked like, it would mean that Microraptors and their other gliding family members may not be the ancestors of the later raptors, and in fact just represent a brief evolutionary experiment when raptors became tree climbing gliders. Thank you for watching. A big shout out to my patrons for supporting me, especially the big contributors like Ken Ham. Okay. That was pretty interesting. Why am I not subscribed to Mod Light Media? You're awesome, bro. Anyway, so we learned a lot. Cute little Velociraptor, crazy fishing 
dinosaur flying, maybe gliding bird like dinosaur. It was pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Have a nice day.